So guys, we're wrapping up uh, another week here in Washington, D.C. And it's the same old playbook that we've been seeing for months now with Nancy Pelosi and the charades that she's playing in this sham process of trying to impeach the President of the United States. You know, you know President uh, Trump has, has absolutely not done anything wrong except make decisions that are not based on your typical political views when it goes to being politically correct. In fact, the biggest charge that's been brought against him is that it's not illegal, but it's highly irregular. Well, just because it's irregular doesn't mean it's impeachable. Yet, Nancy Pelosi said that it's a matter of urgency. A matter of urgency. It's a national security risk that we're running by keeping this president in office. But after she impeached the president and in a sham process in the House of Representatives, she refused to send over the impeachment proceedings to the Senate for nearly a month. Guys, we have a political process, there's no question. The political process is supposed to be represented by the people. The people make the decision. The people elect the president, the people elect us to represent them. And when we're representing them, we also got to understand we're representing their vote too to the president of the United States. If the president did something illegal, okay, that's fine. But considering he didn't, and they still refuse to, to look at that, they just want to make political decisions because it's best for them, it's ridiculous. And so what you're going to see is, yes, the, the Senate's going to move forward with the hearing. He's going to be acquitted. There's no chance of him being, being, uh, being removed from office. And then hopefully, hopefully, they'll let this thing die down. But I doubt it. They can't help themselves. Guys, I look forward to moving this country forward. Thank you for this opportunity to fight for Oklahoma values. May God bless you. May God bless the United States of America.